Welcome, this is the first video of my next project car. No, I'm not going to derby this one. This will be a cruiser, just like my other wagon. This is a 1968 Vista Cruiser wagon. So it's definitely special. I like it because I watched that 70s show growing up and it's the, almost the same thing like it that was in that show. So, and it's a wagon and you never see wagons anymore. So that's why I want to build it. It will take a lot of work for sure. It's definitely rusty, crusty and disgusting, but I feel like I can make it work. Just, just a nice cruiser, nothing too fancy. I'm not gonna put a 800, 800 horsepower LS motor and drag tires on it. No, I don't need that. I just like a nice cruiser. It's got a lot of rust. There's no gas tank in it, so. That's not so bad. Oh, there's the gas tank, I should say. It's got a big old hole in it, so won't be using that. If anything, I'll throw a fuel cell right here. Stir make this sturdy, or yeah, sturdy. Fix it up a little bit, throw a fuel cell right there, and just put a plate over this. Just to make it nice and safe. I don't need a third row seat. Really. So, definitely gotta fix the rust. On the body bushing right there. Just, there's a lot. A lot to do. A lot of stuff to go through too. There's a bunch of stuff. The glass for this window is here, so don't gotta be looking for that. Seals, I'll probably have to look for seals. I have no idea. It's those are probably unfindable. Or probably not will not be able to find those, so I'll have to figure that out. This glass up here is pretty shot. It's bad. A lot of filler. I it's can we see it from here? Oh yeah, you can see it from there how bad it is, but that'll be the only thing I'll look for in like eBay, Marketplace, Craigslist. Probably look for that glass if anybody has a parts car sitting around. What I want to do to it, I'll let me, I can show the motor first. It's a, oh, it's an Oldsmobile motor. I have no idea what it is. Uh, it turns over. I was told it will run by uh, the previous owner, but I haven't got that far. I just threw a battery on it and it turns over, so... At least the motor cranks. But the plan is for this car, first clean it out. I gotta get a few totes and just have everything labeled because it's just like the previous owner actually labeled some stuff. So this is, uh, what is this? Uh, the passenger side C pillar, I'm guessing. One of the C pillars. So it's kind of nice. Some of it's labeled, but there's a mess of junk I gotta go through, get rid of stuff, clean it out before I start anything. Here's more look at the floor. It's pretty nasty. But yeah, crank windows. So not bad, crank windows. I'll take it. I do have to get like every door open too. This door does not open. <laughs> so let's figure out that with the locking system. But the plan is to clean it out get it all cleaned out, bring it into the shop, and start the floor process. I feel like that would be a good start. Get all the floors nice and good. Then suspension on it. For suspension, I'm probably gonna go uh, get, a fr get a front stub that's already derbied and a rear end from a 74 to six Caprice I have sitting out back. I'm actually going to use the Joker car I ran in 2021 at Winnebago for parts. So rear end out of it, the whole front clip or front suspension, because these are drum brakes up front and drum brakes in the rear. So I'll probably get disc brake conversion kit for the rear and then the disc brakes off the front clip of a Caprice just to have nice stable brakes. Get, I have a brake booster out back, take the brake booster too, and all that. Work on suspension, because it is coil spring. It's not leaf spring. Because if it was leaf spring, I probably would have derbied it. But it's saving because it's coil spring, and I have a bunch of coil springs out back from other cars. Let's figure out that later on. Uh, for a motor, I will probably throw a probably get a 6.0 LS in it. I don't care if it's out of a truck. I'm not throwing a bunch of horsepower. It won't be no 800 horsepower car that just 
burns the tires off. I don't need that. I just want a cruiser because you don't see this car anymore. So throw a nice 6.0 LS. I think I'll go fuel injected with it. Try that get a little like box holly system or so to control it all instead of a carburetor like my other wagon. I don't know yet. We'll see about all that, but uh, probably a, get a nice transmission, something that goes with the LS. I have no idea. Just, yeah, that's kind of the plan. For it, I haven't started it or haven't started anything. I try to get tires on it today, but they're all small lug GM and I don't have any small lug GM tires. So I can't really fix this flat tire. So it's gonna be a pain pushing it into the shed. But next week, I'll probably bring this into the shed and start cleaning it out, labeling everything on the inside that's keep that I should that's able to be kept, and then throw everything else away. But yeah, this is the new project this year. I'll have a derby car too. I just have to I gotta find one first.